टूडे वी स्टार्ट और वी लर्न अ मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट आई एम गोइंग टू पुट टोटल चैप्टर इन अ नेटशल हाउ टू रिमेंबर हियर आई हैव ड्रॉन नंबर ऑफ डायग्राम्स वो स्टेट वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट साइंटिस्ट ही सिंपली पास्ट करेंट थ्रू द कंडक्टर एबी एबी इज अ कंडक्टर he kept one magnetic needle compass the moment he passed the current he found a deflection deflection means remember to the compass we have not passed the current we have passed the current through the conductor means this conductor produces definitely a type of a field invisible field that invisible field is developed through a conductor because it is carrying a current that field is called magnetic field magnetic flux due to the magnetic field it gets deflected it is oersted information means current electric current can be converted into mechanical energy this for this concept further <coughs> gave rise to many informations if you take one magnet if it is north pole south pole usually we show north pole by red color south pole by blue color if you keep keep here compass it starts turning towards south pole this experiment can be done with the help of that they draw they have drawn some lines points when points are joined you will get loop the shape is loop around magnet these lines field lines they originate from north move towards south inside they move from south to north they never cross each other and if you take two magnets like this and if you mark the field lines like this if they give a and b you must say both are same poles north poles north north repel they never intersect because when they intersect at that point we cannot show two what you call poles at one point they never intersect if they show another diagram like this say one magnet another magnet it is a b it is a like this it is a loop from a it has started ends with a b a is north pole it is south pole they may ask some tricky questions if you take straight conductor current carrying what you call a conductor a coil when you pass like this you know it's a right hand rule thumb rule thumb shows the direction of current remaining fingers you can see they are in anti clockwise direction out of the paper anti clockwise into the paper clockwise clockwise will be south look south pole anti clockwise will be north pole in this way you can tell north and south if you take instead of straight conductor a loop a circular there also if you put the powder powder in the sense magnetic i mean to tell you iron powder if you pass the current by putting what do we call iron powder if you tap it they arrange themselves in a circular pattern this is these are patterns you know these are called concentric circles remember around straight conductor concentric circles 
around a magnet it is the shape of loop in one mark objective questions they may ask it is anti clockwise above towards clockwise here like this a anti clockwise it is clockwise into the clockwise out of the paper anti clockwise rheostat switch and battery so in this way you can remember when you rotate the screw with the help of screw driver so suppose if you take thread can nail consisting of threads if you want to insert into the wall fix if you want to fix in towards into the wall we have to rotate in a clockwise direction then it penetrates anti clockwise it comes out so these are all the rules informations logic science in the same manner there is one new concept for you solenoid when you take circular coil in the shape of cylindrical wounded number of turnings and ends are connected to battery and switch when you pass the current remember it behaves like a magnet means when you pass the current the moment it enters the coil having number of turns in each point when current passes it produces magnetic field that's why it is shown magnetic lines like this it enters if number of turnings are more you can change the field more magnetic field if number of turnings are less less magnetic field means magnetic field can be changed and produced is very very strong but if you take a magnet this is a fixed one that's why it produces weak magnetic field its strength cannot be changed it is a fixed but here we can change the strength by taking more number of turns or by passing more current field also changes so totally remember whatever i have told so far is from oersted law to solenoid and magnet so if you remember the diagrams like this you can remember the entire chapter this is one part then after this i go to another part where these informations are being used say in the case of you are going to learn fleming's left hand rule and fleming's right hand rule left hand rule is like this four finger middle finger and thumb thumb four finger field f four finger f field middle finger electric current left hand you know motor left hand rule pump set left hand rule electric current is passed it starts moving force acting on the conductor because when you pass the current a force acts on the conductor mechanical force so that's why it's called fleming's left hand rule fleming's right hand rule is like this four finger thumb and middle finger middle finger here is induced current current is not there with the help of motion of conductor mechanical force we generate what we call electricity that's why induced current so fleming's right hand rule middle finger induced current fleming's left hand rule induced this middle finger is electric current it is force acting on the conductor it is a mechanical force that's why in gen generator rule it is it is a motor rule dynamo rule here electrical to mechanical mechanical to electrical in this way you can go for say number of informations and one thing remember motor next comes motor next comes generator 
you know it of course first you have to draw north pole then you have to draw south pole there is a coil this is abcd coil remember both the arms should be same length and connected like this These are called split rings. These are further connected to brushes. Carbon brushes. B1, B2. Then you can say split ring R2 and R1. Then connect this one to the what you call battery. External is a battery. When you pass the current, it enters first you know, half cycle A, B, C, D. It applies a force. So pump set start. The wheel, the blade start rotating. DC motor. You know electric fan, they work on DC motor. We are passing AC but converts into DC. Only one direction. Splitting acts like a commutator. Commutator means in the external, it makes the current to flow in only one direction. Commutators. You will, you will learn detail about commutators and all that in QC level. And you have to draw like this. Try to draw the coil in between north and south. It should not come out. There is one what you call shaft. Soft iron core along, around which over which it is taken number of turns. It is a coil. Soft iron core so that it can rotate easily. Once current passes, it applies a force. That force makes the, what you call, coil to rotate. So, electrical energy is converted into mechanical. If you go to generator, we take here north pole and south pole. And uh, you can draw one bigger arm, one smaller. And for this, we take slip rings like this. Slip rings, we are using the word slip rings. It is say B1, it is B2. And here we use load. It is a bulb, load. A, B, C, D. You can see it. Simple. And this, there is one what you call shaft, core, iron core, armature. You can draw according to diagram, uh, the diagram according to the textbook. No problem for you. Even you can draw. These are called slip rings, R1, R2. These are called split rings, external cell, external load. Electrical to mechanical. Here, this starts rotating, not by itself. We have to give force. We are using cord, or here they give one L shape connection. There is a shaft connected. You have to apply pressure like this L shaped. With the help of that, once you give the force, A, B, C, D starts moving. AB comes to South Pole, DC goes to North Pole, DCBA. Next again ka continues. Once you give the force, it is sufficient. That is why mechanical energy is required. And for that mechanical energy to be continued, poles are compulsory. Strong magnetic fields compulsory. So when you give a certain force, it starts rotating. Here, once it starts moving from B1 to B2, as it rotates, remember this touch is here. This will not going to touch. It comes over here. Second type it is B2, B1. Again, A, B, C, D, B1, B2, D, C, B, A, B2, B1. I mean, current flows into opposite directions into opposite and that's why it is called AC. AC means alternating current. Remember current changes so fast in India, particularly in India, every one hundredth of second you can't imagine 
पॉइंट जीरो वन सेकेंड इट चेंजेस वेरी फास्ट आई कैनॉट ड्रॉ फिफ्टी हर्ज यू नो फ्रीक्वेंसी सो फास्ट दैट्स वाई लॉस ऑफ यू नो पावर इज वेरी वेरी लेस इन इंडिया आई मीन दैट्स वाई लॉन्ग वायर्स आर टेकन एसी जन एसी करंट एट होम्स एंड इवन इन फैक्ट्रीज so ac is used that's why you must know how to draw the diagram simple diagram i told you generator it works on you know emi electromagnetic induction i mean whenever there is a change in the magnetic field this is the magnetic field linking with the coil always induces emf always produces current that current is called induced current suppose there is a load shedding automatically in cinema hall in uh, shops we are using generator immediately we pull the cord or we use this particular ankle uh, connected to the shaft it starts once you give the force so that it starts rotating once it starts rotating you can remove it then it continues because of field field changes linking with the conductor conductor is linked there field changes there also what it does means it produces electric field faraday told faraday faraday it is a reverse of oersted oersted electrical to mechanical why not mechanical from mechanical to electrical it was a thought by faraday you are going to learn in puc you know faraday's laws first law and second law so in this way ac it is for dc you know direction is like this you know dc motors are used in fans and even in uh, big dc motors tram cars so many applications are there about uh, dc so in this way i told about uh, motor and all that and one more information Uh, in a nutshell i would like to tell you that whenever faraday did the, did the same ex experiment this is the coil it is a galvanometer when he discussed the matter with oersted he the idea came to him he just simply pushed the magnet into the coil he found deflection further he did not move no deflection zero magnetic field is zero no magnetic field means no emf no voltage no current that's why current is induced only when you move magnet into the coil or coil into the magnet either left to right or right to left it is called relative motion you have to move that's why one is at rest and the one is motion relative motion in the same manner he did another experiment a coil connected to battery another coil kept very close to it having number of turns he passed the current in coil number 1 he obtained deflection in the coil secondary coil secondary coil primary coil if turnings are more you will get more current more voltage transformer work primary coil you are passing current here but you are going to get current in secondary coil coil experiment it is called magnetic magnet and coil experiment that's why it is called electromagnetic induction i think you have understood the information so this is how up to this i have explained motor generator some other laws fleming's left hand right hand rule emi everything else and further comes you know domestic wiring live wire neutral wire and the one is earthing wire 24 hours live wire current flows it is it is say 220 volts it is zero potential if if you take potential difference 220 minus zero is 220 so at home maximum they supply 220 volts 
it color is red it is a black it is earthy you know green color if any extra current flows when they are connected to metal body like a refrigerator and a washing machine what happens if they all are connected to the single phase single socket single socket and if you switch on immediately very large current flows that's why it's called overloading it affects the circuit that's why earthing wire is connected taken from mains and it is connected to the earth it is zero put and zero resistance means it drags maximum current so it avoids you know certain damages to the buildings severe shock short circuit is different because live wire comes in contact with neutral wire sometimes due to wear and tear you know they are covered with a plastic that's why remember when they are covered with a plastic they should be quality good quality plastics i mean pp pp polyvinyl chloride if plastics coverage is not good due to wear and tear remember after some days or years wires comes they come in contact when live wire comes in contact with the neutral wire two wires wires are joined abrupt current flows uncontrollable that's why fire appears it's called you know short circuit there is a different what you call different the uh, ideas meaning about loading overloading and short circuiting so that's why we have to use the fuse if large current flows you know that in the fuse the fuse wire is low melting point it cuts further it is connected to number of appliances all appliances will be on safer side they are parallel they are on safer side that's why fuse is a main it is made up of alloy low melting point first current has to sign over this capacity 15 ampere 5 ampere and 220 volts so that's how total entire chapter where all the laws are important diagrams are important explanations i have told so with this i can tell in a nutshell i have explained the chapter called magnetic effect of electric current thank you very much